gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Hey, friends. I'm so glad you're here. I need your help. As you can see, I'm having some friends over to play. And... I need to make sure I have enough cookies for everyone. Do you love math? Math is pretty much anything we do with numbers, like counting. Do you want to count with me? Okay, I have four friends coming to play. That is one, two, three, four. Now let's count cookies. Mmm, I love counting cookies and eating cookies. First, there's one cookie for donuts, the stuffed giraffe. That's one. There's one for Hedgie, the stuffed hedgehog. Two. Then there's one for Elefante, the stuffed elephant, of course. I love Elefante. He's so great. Oh, wait, I lost track. Friends, can you help? Four friends are coming, but how many cookies have I counted? Do I have enough? Okay, okay, I'll just start over. Four friends, then one cookie for donuts, one, then one for Hedgie, two, then one for Elefante, three, and of course, a cookie for Mr. Ribbits the Stuffed Frog, four. Oh, hey, four and four, those are equal. That means I have enough, right, friends? Thanks for the help, but wait, is one cookie for each enough? Maybe we should have two. Maybe everyone should have three. Hmm, that makes me wonder. What if there aren't enough toys for everyone? What if there aren't enough games for us to play? What if I can't give enough snuggles to everyone? I just want this playtime to be totally Cali cool. And if you don't have enough, then it might not be. I'm gonna keep counting while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of John, chapter 6. Jesus was in the city of Jerusalem, doing what he did best, teaching people about God. After a while, Jesus and his friends decided to head to another town. They went up a mountainside and sat down to rest. But a huge crowd was following them. When Jesus saw the crowd coming, he asked Philip, where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? Jesus already knew he was going to have to feed them, but he wanted to see what Philip would say. Philip said they would have to work for more than half a year to have enough money to buy bread to feed each person there. Andrew, another one of Jesus' friends, brought a boy to Jesus. Andrew said this boy has five loaves of bread and two small fish but it doesn't seem like enough to feed a whole crowd. Thankfully, Jesus had a plan. Jesus took the bread and the fish. He thanked God for the food. Then Jesus broke it and started handing out the food. Jesus' friends handed out as much bread and fish as anyone wanted. Everyone was able to eat until they were full. And it was all from just five loaves and two fish. Jesus asked his friends to gather all the leftovers so that nothing would be wasted. Do you know how much they had left over? They had 12 basketfuls. Amazing. Jesus had a plan to give those people what they needed. And Jesus does the same for us. Wow. Jesus has the power to provide. friends were worried about not having enough too. In fact, they counted everything, did the math, and they were sure they didn't have enough. Or so they thought. But Jesus does math a little bit differently. For the disciples, five loaves of bread plus two fishies equals not enough to feed all the hungry people. But for Jesus, five loaves plus two little fishies equal everybody eating until their bellies are full. And they even had leftovers. Mm. Leftovers, especially leftover cookies. 
Oh, that reminds me. It's almost time for playtime with my stuffy friends, and I still don't know if we have enough. Now that I think about it, no more math required. That Bible story makes me think that it will be just fine. Maybe even better than fine. I do have to add one thing, though. Jesus, thank you for using a little bit of bread and a couple of fish to feed all those people that day. Thank you for giving me stuffy friends that I can have over for playtime. Jesus, will you make it a really fun time? Just like your friends did with the bread and fish? I give you my playtime with pals, because I know... Jesus has the power to provide! Amen! There! Nothing to add or subtract from that. Putting things in Jesus' hands means it will always add up. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Peace out!